thank you so much for joining again today. We are in my favorite place, Waterfall Equestrian Estate. And I can safely say we are going to tour the most exciting house I've toured in Waterfall Equestrian Estate to date. This house has so much character. It has so many awesome features in terms of architecture, as well as design touches from the interior design through to the different finishes that they've used on the walls, on the interior, the lighting. There's just so much to show you. I can't wait to get started. And of course, we are right here in the garden. We are on a massive stand and you can see immediately that this garden is absolutely immaculate. It is beautiful and I'll keep pointing it out as we go because it is a feature on its own and it is millions of rands on its own just to get your garden like this. But now imagine your car is driving down this windy driveway or imagine you walking down this windy driveway and you almost like enter this princess or king palace. So you have this stunning massive double volume archway that takes you into a circle and this is basically the driveway that drives in front of the house entrance. We have the garages framed on both sides. We have perfect symmetry, the beautiful flower bed in the middle with the tree centerpiece. We're going to look at the outbuildings when we finish with the main house, but now Let's just get started and have a look at the house. A few features while we're here, and we'll point them out later as well. Remember I said so many textures, so many finishes. What we see here is there's some wood cladding chosen in certain parts of the house. There's also some vegetation that is covering some of the walls. So everything about character, texture, and different touches and different choices. Beautiful, beautiful space. Stunning entrance. Again, we have touches of the wood cladding. And I love the fact that it's even like a burnt wood effect. So very, very nicely done. We have probably the biggest doorbell I've ever seen, or we can just ring it when uh, we sell this house. That's a great idea. And then we step into the entrance. This to me is a combination of French provincial style, but as well, so many different beautiful eclectic features here that are marrying together to create this very chic, very high-end feeling. And all of this coupled with this stunning, stunning garden. We're in the entrance, we have this amazing crystal chandelier as our centerpiece. And from the door, the first thing that you see is the view. And we're going to enjoy that garden very, very shortly because we're starting first with the entertainment spaces. Just pointing out while we're in the space, high ceilings, but we also have a little bit of a recessed ceiling with the mood lighting, strip lighting around there as well. So gives you character again, gives you softness of um, the light, and it also highlights the main features of each room. What we've done now is we've stepped to the right hand side of the main entrance. And we've now stepped from the entrance, from that cocktail table space, we've entered the dining room section. This dining room, currently eight seater, can be a 10 seater. I always like to count how many dinner guests I'm getting. So this is the formal dining. We have another beautiful entertainment space where we can have our overflow guests. What is right in front of me is this amazing fireplace. And it's one of many. I think if I count correctly, we've got about eight fireplaces in the house. We're wood burning fireplace, stunning stone cladding, and we're having a touch of exposed brick. And when I say a touch, we'll see it here and there, but it's very little just to give again another texture and another earthy feeling to our space. But at the same time, we have the crystal chandeliers that again bring in the glamour and keep the place very high end, especially for a dining room section. I've opened the door. These are custom made cast iron, I would say. Yes, black cast iron doors. And this is a custom made wine cellar, another crystal chandelier, snowmaster, fridge, 
and all our beautiful bottles of wine displayed very nicely and within two steps reach from your dining room. So that is an absolute bonus. A quick note, central vacuum for a house that is over 1,300 square meter and the roof, a central vacuum is an absolute feature. So we need that. And now we've stepped into one of the lounge areas. This one is the cozy lounge where family, close friends can congregate around yet another fireplace. So if we're counting, we're seeing the second fireplace now. And this lounge area flows from the kitchen space. And before we step into the kitchen, have a look at that chandelier. The light fittings in that whole house, I will keep pointing out to them because they are unique, they are different, they are full of character and they're just a talking piece on their own. And looking at this massive chandeliers, what we also see is this very high double volume exposed ceiling and um, we've got the wood but it's white painted, so very light, very airy but brings a lot of volume to the room. And uh, another note on the wood, the floors we're walking throughout. This is solid wood flooring throughout the space. And uh, you can see these massive wooden planks. It's, um, I think it's called French oak, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, beautiful, beautiful in texture, soft, and it just invites you to walk barefoot. We're into the kitchen space in line with the, the general feel of the house. This is a French provincial style kitchen, absolutely immaculate, a ton of drawers. And if you watch enough of our videos, you'll know I love my kitchen drawers. It's probably the best storage you can possibly wish for. Also a ton of counter space. So all your cookie baking, all your placing of the tapas for all the guests that you're going to have around the space. Seating area here, bar stool space, built-in coffee machine, built-in, we've got four ovens just behind us there, and the fifth one right here, smeg, mixture of gas and electric. So in terms of your cooking and in terms of your catering and entertaining, you just can't wish for a better space. Really beautiful. And speaking of textures again, they've done another beautiful choice of a backsplash. These are very interesting colors. There's shades of gray, but with just a touch of um, um, almost sage color in it. So brings in again the garden feeling and uh, the beautiful greenery that we see outside into your kitchen space as well. And a very bold choice with the black color of the, of the stove stands out because it is a beautiful piece on its own. All of the windows in the kitchen here slide completely open and give you this amazing view of the courtyard that we just entered the house from. And of course, more storage. There's a walk-in pantry and uh, going just around a quick squeeze at the service rooms. We just want to take a few steps here, a door leading to two of the four garages that we have a massive scullery section here with a ton more storage and then a se separate dedicated laundry room. You can literally close the door and keep all your laundry nice and fresh smelling away from the kitchen. Love the space. I actually just feel like, you know, baking a cake or something. It's a really stunning space. Notice how every room we're in, we have doors opening into the garden. All the glass that you see around the space is double glazed. So the temperatures will be very even throughout uh, the, the year, meaning summertime will be cooler, wintertime um, will be also warmer. And with all those fireplaces, what a pleasure. I wanna now step outside and carry on with the entertainment spaces because I think this is the most magical spot in the entire house. The owner also tells me that this is their absolute favorite space and there isn't a day that goes by that they don't sit here and drink a cup of tea. And just imagine if you were to sit right here, what view reveals itself to you? The blooming, gorgeous roses, this garden that is absolute utter perfection, 
and it shows you the flowers and the plants throughout the year in all their glory and all their colors and you are on a quite an elevated stand so you also getting the amazing view of the city and imagine night time the city lights will be magnificent and now just a quick look at this no this is not the swimming pool we yet to see the swimming pool this is the swimming pool for the koi fish it's massive it's stunning the koi are absolutely stunning they're loving it you can see they're thriving here and uh, right around the corner is the other entertainment space which is where i imagine you're going to spend all your time with your family and friends basically all year round again sliding doors it's a beautiful choice of a location for your entertainment space it gets the view of the entire garden it is two steps away from the kitchen all your guests can congregate here you can have this massive dining room table extended even further and you are across from yet another kitchen space so all your catering can take place here you have this massive braai area i can well imagine doing a whole lamb here and there's the built-in fridge so all your messy uh, entertaining the whole weekend you can be sitting here enjoying the rugby enjoying your friends and uh, making mixing up cocktails and enjoying the view of your garden so we've now stepped literally across from the dining room area in the space into the bar area so you can see your built-in um, space here for your TV. What I love is this copper mirror effect on, um, on the feature wall, which is uh, holding your TV and also highlighting all your favorite liquor bottles or the favorite liquor that you haven't drank yet. Nice choice of a different color. We've got a black marble countertop for the bar area. Being a bar, you want it to be more dramatic. You want the darker colors to come through. And then another fireplace. So I think this is the third one we've seen so far and counting. And again, what an interesting design and interior finishes they've chosen. We have the exposed brick, but the super high mantelpiece over and above the main one here where your fireplace is. So you can display even more of your favorite entertainment pieces that you want your guests to see. And from there, again, all these doors open, display your garden, but also invite you to step out into the garden space. And once again, enjoy the view. And what a view it is. What we're seeing now from our elevated position is immaculate garden, immaculate grass. It really feels like you're walking on velvet. And then we have a dam that was uh, designed by the owners at the bottom of the property. And we're going to see more. But first, let's not forget my favorite room for this section of the house. Because I have favorite rooms pretty much in every section of the house. Whilst we're going there, a quick look. They've designed here a shower. So what is really clever is that it is literally steps away from um, the pool area so you can literally just run into the shower clean up have a you know or the toilet whatever you need very fun choice of uh, tiles as well on the wall in line with the whole entertainment area section so walking towards my favorite section bathroom number two it's really cool that you have two toilets and the shower in your entertainment space i think one really needs it when there's a lot of people loving loving the tiles they are so fun and now we're heading for my favorite room in this part of the house i'm already feeling the coolness fully air conditioned soundproofed cinema room in fact it is so nice and cool on this hot summer's day i feel like spending the rest of the night here and finishing the tour another day absolutely beautiful we can easily fit eight to ten seats in here and enjoy the space and now we are sending back up the staircase and we're going to head back into the house so we've seen this 
stunning entertainment house. Again, we have those very high exposed ceilings, windows and sliding doors opening from every direction. And we're stepping now towards the, I would say the back of the kitchen, but it is so important to see this because again of the beauty of this garden. They've designed here kind of an open door space. This is literally a step away from the kitchen and we're gonna go back into the kitchen from here and to the living room. A big open air patio, which is yet still covered above. So you can really enjoy your hot summer nights here, enjoying the view and talking to the koi. Double doors opening into the stunning fruit and veg garden. I think by now you're getting the idea that uh, the owners of the space are avid gardeners. I personally don't think I've ever seen a garden as stunning as this. And they've thought of everything. If I was just to point you out to this stone clad, almost like a trench here, what this is, is it runs the entire length of the top of the property. And it, if there is very heavy rain, it basically creates like a little river and it keeps all the water away from flooding your property. So this is the attention to detail that has been applied here. Everything around us, these are fruit trees and there's vegetables there. So if you are into the avid gardening as well, you can literally live off the land here as well. The house is completely off the grid in terms of water. The borehole is so strong that the entire garden is watered with the borehole and it is filtered. So you use the water in the house as well. Just a note again, remember we spoke about the different textures. Now we have the exposed brick flooring here as well on the outside patio. So again, playing with textures, playing with colors and playing with finishes, but with such exquisite taste, it's incredible. I don't think many people can achieve that. We've now walked back into the house, past the patio area, the front patio, the side patio, past the formal dining room area and um, the wine cellar, let's not forget. And now we are back into the center. From here, we see the entrance. We see the beauty of our swimming pool and garden, which we're going to explore again shortly. And now we're stepping into a more formal lounge area. So we're counting fireplace number four and we're pointing out at another gorgeous chandelier. And this chandelier talks directly to the one opposite in the uh, dining room section. So again, we also have a lot of symmetry playing around in the house, which is great. It's very pleasing and it's very calming as well. Beautiful big fireplace. It's pretty much the same look as the one across with the dining room. So back to the symmetry. While I'm here, they've got beautiful cladding on this wall here. This isn't wallpaper, okay? So it's really textural 3D effect. And then of course your TV is suspended very nicely and neatly here. And now we're stepping around and down into the living spaces, the bedroom spaces, where we have three bedrooms on the ground floor. Look at the study. If I had a study like this, I will become a workaholic. It is really gorgeous. You could spend your entire day here. You would not feel bad for having to work. It is a beautiful space. Amazing double volume again. So you've got the volume. You've got the view of the garden from both sides. Amazing roses. Another patio here and it's very uh, tucked away from the main entertainment patio. So if you are entertaining guests or family or kids are playing, then you've got this patio that is just for the study so it can stay nice and quiet. I love the bookcases and the cabinetry that they've built here. I also love the touch of the classic with, with that ladder. I've actually always dreamt of having a ladder like this. So really stunningly done. And fireplace number five, we're still counting. And more to come. We're going to have a look at this section shortly, but just pointing it out here because this is where we head for the upstairs loft. And when I say loft, it's an entire penthouse apartment, actually. While we're coming down the corridor here, heading for the three bedrooms, 
I just want to point out another little patio area. This is an open sky tucked just around the corner. Now we're stepping into bedroom number one, which is currently designed as a gym. Beautiful, massive room. Because they're using it as a gym, they've also you know, done this massive mirror on the one wall. We're still carrying on with that whole wooden floor look throughout the space. The gym room also has its own patio area, a ton of storage, and then a Jack and Jill bathroom. We're gonna have a look at the bathroom from the other side from the bedroom number two that we're going to see. Back into that main corridor, just a quick look across. Everything here is so nicely aligned with such beautiful views. What we're looking at there is the guest toilet. We're gonna to see it shortly as well. And now we're down the corridor into bedroom number two. Corridor also with a touch of the exposed brick that we've seen. A lot of cupboard space here as well. And this bedroom now is set up as a bedroom. It's no longer set up as a gym. Another beautiful private patio here, just for the um, inhabitants of this specific bedrooms. And then this is the bathroom that is shared by the two bedrooms downstairs. Very, very nice choice of the tiles. It's very classy, very high end. It's got this marble look and we have a full bedroom uh, bathroom there that is shared by the two bedrooms. Super high ceilings. Don't know if you get the, the feel for it, but just the doors alone that are custom made to be super high and then the ceiling much further up. So tremendous volume and space in the rooms. Now we're entering the main bedroom. I love the fact that it is on the ground floor because the view of your lush garden is magnificent. You're also very close to the kitchen, so those midnight snacks, you don't have to go very far. And look at the gorgeous, opulent space that you're in. We're still counting, six fireplaces. Stunning, again, the entire wall, feature wall with the um, very 3D effect wallpaper, touches of blue and gray are coming through here. So it's a very calm room. Even with the curtains, a little bit of blue, some wood coming through with the chandelier. So it's getting nice and earthy and very warm, very tranquil. And now we're entering the bathroom and it has two entrances. So no one is going to be clashing into each other whilst going to the bathroom. His and hers or double basin, whichever way you want to use it, with a ton of countertop space a centerpiece Victorian Albert bath and a stunning jacuzzi that is on a pedestal because it does invite you to just go and indulge and relax in uh, the, the water and enjoy the view of your garden. Right next to the bath is of course a double shower and from the double shower you can step right out into an outdoor shower as well. And from the outdoor shower, you could literally step straight and jump into the jacuzzi. So everything flows. Everything is very spacious, very wide, very high ceilings, and everything is thought out carefully. So we've got this, um, I think it's a marble tile throughout the floor, but then they've chosen some fun tiles as well. We've got the blue tiles on the outdoor shower, and then we've got the wood cladding on the jacuzzi, and then some choices of bluish gray in line with the water fill being in the bathroom. Two toilets, very clever as well. They re really want to avoid any form of fighting. And now we're stepping into the walk-in closet, which is pretty much the size of some apartments actually, if I think of that. Plenty of space for your shoes, plenty of space for your clothes, and double doors that can open and close and just keep everything nicely tucked away. And that is now the conclusion of our ground floor of the main house. And now we're going to head for the upstairs section. Again, quick look here, separate entrance. This is the entrance to our penthouse apartment upstairs, which we're going to see last. Or last for the house, because this house just keeps on giving, like I said, and there's so much to see. Very nice, this alcove under the staircase. 
you can display your favorite furniture or you can even make into a bookcase. We have not yet seen the guest toilet here. So we had two guest toilets in the entertainment space. Look at this guest toilet here. It is absolutely great. It is fun. Black walls with a very nice floor effect with the different color mosaic, very large mosaic. Boutique look, a ton of mirrors, which is where our videographer keeps catching himself on. But really stunning boutique look, very high-end look toilet. Somewhere where you would enjoy spending time in. Now let's head up. We've seen so far three bedrooms. We've seen the two um, guest bedrooms and we've seen a main bedroom. Whilst going up, we have the view again of our front courtyard. And as we reach the upstairs landing, we find ourselves looking at an outdoor balcony, which will lead us also to that uh, penthouse. First, we're gonna have a look at the, what I would call the kids space, maybe. We've got a beautiful pyjama lounge, again, a view of the city and a huge, huge balcony. Then this is just a linen cupboard, one balcony overlooking that courtyard. I mean, this courtyard is just magical. It's like a fairy tale. You expect a Cinderella to be coming out or to find a sleeping beauty in one of these rooms. Back into that pyjama lounge after looking at the balcony and the really stunning um, arches there. We're carrying on with the wooden flooring. So that's very important because the quality is kept throughout the house, absolutely top notch. We have a TV here and now we're stepping into bedroom number one upstairs. Stunning, this is a queen size bed. It can very easily handle a king size bed. It's looking out into the garden, same as all the other rooms in the house. So the entire house is built to have a view of the magnificent garden. It also has a door opening into the balcony and it has an ensuite bathroom and a ton of cupboard space. So this here is a full bathroom and again those beautiful marble tiles I love that very light grain um, effect throughout the tiles. So it almost feels like they're pearl, pearly tiles. Another quick look. I mean, just maybe step out while we're here and just get an idea of what the garden holds for us. And we're going to still walk through the garden again. So what we're looking at here is the blooming roses and then the massive pool area boma area which is right next to the patio and the kitchen and now we're heading into bedroom number two upstairs so this is the fifth bedroom we've seen so far and here we've got uh, the the fuel fireplace so i think we're on number six now if i'm not mistaken or i might be losing track a lot of fireplaces here aircon throughout the house very important as well as solar so Although we're not 100% off-grid, we're almost off-grid with the solar here. So no worries about any form of load shedding. Again, the bed takes a center piece stage with the view of the garden. And here we have a much bigger, in fact, this dressing room is pretty much the size of any main bedroom I've seen. We have another full bathroom. Love the fact that the bath is almost like, feels like on a pedestal. It almost feels like this should be a girl child's room because it has all this glamour around it. But these days it can be anyone really. Now exiting here, let's head for that penthouse I keep promising you to show you. We've seen five bedrooms so far, five bathrooms. We've seen a separate entertainment house with two bathrooms on its own. Now we're heading across this double doorway Another quick look at my favorite courtyard of all time. And now we're heading into that penthouse. And now you tell me, would any teenager not absolutely sell their kidney for that space? It is gorgeous. Where we've come from is the upstairs section, the other two bedrooms, but that extra entrance that I showed you, which you can enter from the courtyard, as well as from inside the house, it leads right here and we're going to come out that side. Double doors opening, kitchen space here, so 
we've now basically seen a third kitchen in the space. And then we enter a lounge area, there's a dining area. The space of this apartment here is, uh, is magnificent. Bathroom, and then the loft section. So this is the most glorified loft I've ever seen, but this is the loft section where the bedroom lies. It's big enough again for a king size bed, plus a desk, plus an extra lounge area should you wish. And I just can't help but point out to all the finishing touches, the design choices, you know, the pieces that are making up the space because it's not just walls and ceilings and high ceilings. It's also super interesting light fixtures, super interesting artwork on the, on the wall, yet a completely different light fitting here. It's really a lot of fun but a lot of thought put into this entire space. And all the doors, very dramatic with the black framing. It works really, really well. And now we're heading out, not the way we came into here. We came in from the staircase leading to the two bedrooms across. Okay, so we've come downstairs now, separate entrance. The special attention to detail, we have the color matching the color of the Bougainvillea. This is how much thought has been put into this. So we're now stepping back into the courtyard where we, this whole adventure started and it's not even finished yet. So you might wonder, what is this house there? So this is the staff quarters. We have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, lounge and kitchen there. So super comfortable, beautiful, big cottage space. One of the last rooms we're going to see here is Office number two, so we've seen one office inside the house. They've designed a second office just outside the house, very cleverly right next to the main entrance and a ton of storage again. And with a high table, you can do arts and crafts or you can just literally have a boardroom meeting here. So, and have the view of your garden, the sound of the running water. So a quick look, we have a storeroom above on this side. We have the staff quarters, like I said, this massive house next to us. And what you're looking at is this is our penthouse that we've just taught. And this is the bedroom and this is the lounge area and the dining room area. So very, very interesting house, full of character, full of incredible design. So we're finishing off our tour in the garden because this is the absolute pride and joy of any homeowner. We have uh, various terraces that they've set up. Terrace number one, where you have the patio, all the entertainment, imagine all your guests with their cocktails in hand. You can do a whole wedding here. I mean, this is just under a hectare property. It is a massive property. We're looking at this gorgeous pool, I think about 12 meters, so you can properly swim your lengths in the pool. We're on terrace number two right here. Lush, gorgeous garden space. And now we're looking at the beauty of the house. We're looking at the stunning Boma area with a seating for at least 12 people. We're looking at the stunning house with over 40 solar panels for all those load shedding days. And we're looking to the furthest terrace here with the water running. I can hear the water from everywhere. We have the water feature with the koi. We have the amazing fruit and veg garden. This property is immaculate, it's magnificent, it is loved, it's built with love, it's built with uh, impeccable taste, attention to detail and incredible choice of design in terms of the architecture and the interior. So absolutely stunning property, six bedrooms. I can't remember anymore how many fireplaces and bathrooms Phone us and come and have a look if you're on the market for a high-end, beautiful property in Waterfall Equestrian Estate.